A long time ago, the Greek god Zeus fell in love with the Trojan prince. Then he decided to abduct the prince by bringing him to Mount Olympus. So to compensate the father of prince, Zeus offered him the best horses possible and then said, your son would now be immortal and serve as a cupbearer for the god, as well as a lover for me. The prince was called Ganymede. Today, we know Ganymede as the largest satellite in the solar system, larger than Mercury and Pluto, and only slightly smaller than Mars. It would easily be classified as a planet if it were orbiting the Sun rather than Jupiter. Being 4.5 billion years old, Ganymede is the only natural satellite in a solar system to have a magnetosphere, which is typically found in planets. It also has an internal ocean which could hold more water than all Earth oceans combined. On January 7, 1610, an Italian astronomer Galileo Galilei observed with his telescope what he described at the time as three thick stars totally invisible by their smallness, all close to Jupiter and lying on a straight line through it. Then Galileo came to the conclusion that the stars were actually bodies orbiting Jupiter. It was Io, Europa, Callisto and Ganymede. Later, this discovery led to our understanding that planets revolve around the Sun. Ganymede has a thin atmosphere that appears to contain oxygen. This was confirmed by Hubble Space Telescope observations. The oxygen is likely freed as water rise on the surface is broken apart into hydrogen and oxygen by solar radiation. The Moon may also have the largest impact scar in the entire solar system. For now, Ganymede's surface is a puzzle for planetary scientists. About two-thirds of its surface is covered in lighter terrain, while the remainder is darker. Both types of terrain are ancient, with the lighter portion being slightly younger. The two types of terrain are spread around the Moon, and the darker terrain contains concurrent furrows. The furrows can be as high as 600 meters and stretch for thousands of kilometers. They were formed by tectonic activity and water being released from below the surface. But a new study says that a massive impact might be responsible for all those furrows. The analysis shows that the rings were formed when an asteroid with a 150 km radius collided with Ganymede, traveling at enormous speed of 20 km per second. The European Space Agency has a mission planned called Jupiter Icy Moon Explorer, or JUICE, which will explore the Jupiter's moons in 2022. So this mission will pay particular attention to Ganymede and will remain in orbit around the Jupiter's largest satellite. As always, thank you for watching and may the Force be with you always.